What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. We are getting ready to wrap this thing. So I actually did get a sponsor from Vinyl Frog, so they are sending me the vinyl over, but I'm not gonna review the color until it gets here, but that's good news, so we got wrapped for this car. I got a 60 foot roll, which is enough for the whole car, I believe, but if I don't have enough, I'm gonna wrap the whole car, uh, do the roof and the, um, the hood last, since this is wrapped black and that's carbon. Today's video is about something else. Never would I have imagined that I would get a nice spoiler like this. I've had a J spoiler before, spoon, whatever for the EK, but for this chassis, I've never owned one, but let me show you guys what I got. I need to get a tripod too. It's a pretty big way. This is I want to say the holy grail, but these are really expensive. This is a Voltex Type 1S spoiler um, Made in Japan and the cool thing is it's one piece So it doesn't have end plates. It's literally just completely one piece and this is by far like one of my favorite I guess spoilers GT spoilers that you can get and of course is made by Voltex so You guys don't know about Voltex. Voltex is made in Japan. Very expensive. They do make kits too for specific cars but we got ourselves a spoiler. I'm not too sure if this is gonna fit in the car. I asked the guy for measurements. I did measure this on my trunk and it looks like it matches up pretty well. But the stands aren't the proper ones, but I think I can make it work. So what we're gonna do is test fit on the car. So we'll pull the Nugan duckbill off and then I guess this Mock it up, right? Look how wild this thing is, though. I need to put this somewhere safe. These are really expensive and it has a little flare to it. Pull the medium wing off. Hopefully, that's not stuck on because there is double sided tape underneath. And it did come with stands. The cool thing is, um, let me show you guys. It actually came with more than. Damn, I need to clean this again. It's so messy. These are the base plates. Looks very similar to S2000. Um, and like Jay's racing for that 2000, but yep, that's that. And it did come with titanium, it also did uh come with these two. If the wing doesn't um, fit, these are spacers to make the spoiler fit. Uh, this is the other base. Let me plug in the light. These aren't the original Voltex stands. Uh, I believe this is a bit taller, which is kind of nice. These are, I think, 275 mils. It came with Chasing J's titanium hardware. We're gonna get rid of those. I'm gonna switch to just non-titanium. And these are made by Aerogenics, which is actually local to us. So it's a really nice piece. Uh, so before I do that, I need to pull the duckbill off. Hold on my 210 mils on each side. And then pray that it's not hard taking off that adhesive. And yes. So let's get to pulling off each side and yanking the wing off. Here's the trunk. And here's a quick look before I put the spoiler on. Damn, it looks pretty damn good without a wing. <laughs> Alright, anyways. Um, now this trunk, I need to look for another trunk. Um, this one does have dents here, but the thing is I got this trunk because I wasn't too worried because I have this duck bill and I was gonna cover all of that and then a couple dents here, but these two sex trunks are known to have dents right here. I think I did, there is one locally here, so I might just pick it up. It's a lot cleaner than this one. Oh, when I wrap the car, you can see that for sure. Or regardless, when I wrap the car, you can see all the dents because this car already has some dents here and there. I guess bring the wing over and just see if it clears my trunk. I don't know if that's the angle, but we're gonna use wing mounts on each side and see if clear. Okay, so oh my god. Okay. Damn, I should have brought the camera. But this wing 
actually fits the back of this car pretty well because this back or this trunk has a curve to it and this up here has like the perfect curvature for this car. What I'm gonna do is put the hardware on um, because that's gonna be one thing we need to do and then I guess put it on with the stand um, and see where to go from there but pretty straightforward, four bolts. Well, these, yeah, there's four here and then yeah, we'll see if we need the spacers or not. All right, I figured out how to prop up the way. Let's use one of our boxes that we get for Mayo. Um, the stands are slightly lifted up because this box is a little bit taller, but this is ideally what it looks like. This thing is tall, like it's very tall. Um, so I think my idea is to get shorter stands. Uh, I'll probably get rid of the Moog and Duckbill. I'm not sure yet. I do want another trunk though. The good thing about having this box on here is it kind of shows how I want the wing. So I want this whole base to be flat. I don't want it to have that tilt like how everybody has. I, I personally don't like that. Having it completely flush with the roof is ideally, like it looks the best to me. And from here, you can, definitely see how tall this wing is um, I mean it looks even taller because of the stand but um, what I'm gonna do is try to move it more in so I believe uh, okay so there's only one mountain here but I'm trying to move it more in and then from this angle this is what kind of sold me the wing you guys can't see it but you guys see that okay yeah it looks kind of weird right because it's not settled down or put down probably i don't know why i can't talk right now but this wing i honestly love how it looks on the car now there doesn't be a lot of people on, on the internet saying oh you don't track your car you don't even wing." yeah i'm not gonna track this car but having wing looks pretty damn nice and i haven't had a spoiler like this in forever it's actually like flush with the car as in this is the perfect size this is a 1480 millimeter so it's around like 57 or 58 inches and this is the only size that this wing comes in and this thing is perfect um, for this car so what i'm gonna do now is just full send it and mount this wing on the car i think even if i took this wing off where the holes are at the Mugen spoiler, if I end up putting that back on, it will cover the holes. So that's the good thing about having that. And also these holes, they don't go in the trunk, they go on the edge of the trunk. Um, just exactly like the Mugen spoiler, like that. So let's get to drilling the holes. I'm gonna, mark, I'm gonna take off the base plates, put them down, mark it. And right now, these aren't screwed in all the way or bolted down. So they do have some play. Also, one more thing is since I'm wrapping the car, I'm not keeping this car. In. I'm actually gonna color match the top of this wing to the car, but we are gonna keep the Voltex badge, of course, in the open. Another thing is this thing is actually PPF, so it has paint protection film on it. Whoever owned this before, they did a good job. Having PPF on it prevents it from fading and it has a pretty thick layer. It goes all the way around to the top. The sides, um, oh, it's actually PPF also. I don't think you guys can see it, but yeah, it has a paint protection film on it. You guys don't know what PPF is. I don't think I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. Literally just four holes. Drill, 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 drill. Boom, and we'll mount it. This is gonna be my stencil. That's exactly where we're gonna drill. I'm just gonna mark it and drill it out. And like I said, double checking with this spoiler or duckbill. So even if I drilled the holes and I put the wing back on, you won't even see it. This wing covers it perfectly. Oh, I kind of wish I had a center punch, but we're just gonna mark these and then literally just send it. I got a race car. Nah, I'm just kidding. That's uh, oh my voice cracked, but <laughs> gonna drill those eight holes, put it on, we'll be golden. Some time has passed. It was, I wanna say it was challenging putting these on. So I have the mounts on. The only thing is I had to notch the trunk to fit the bracket. It's not the best job right now. I'll get back into it and, um, was it trim and everything? I had to make sure that this was fine for that little uh, rubber grommet, which is right here. Should go, 
should go in, yeah. So it goes in. So I need to trim this and then have the ground on the other side too. At least the trunk uh, is still flat, it doesn't flex. The brackets, I had to flip them to work. If I had it the other direction, it's not gonna work. So we're just gonna go ahead and mount it like this. So time to grab this thing, throw it on and hope all goes well. I honestly should just put two in it. Sticky dildo? Sticky dildo. Dude, this is gonna be the vlog. Sticky dildo. The Chronicle Sticky Dildo? You know what's funny? Joey, well that's him. He actually looks like Saitama from One Punch Man. It is a meme. Okay. So. Whew. I got a big wing on my car. But uh, I only tie in the bottom ones. I haven't tied in these yet, but solid. I need to do the top and I need to tilt it forward because it looks kind of dumb like this. So I need to drop it down a little bit, but at the same time, uh, yeah, I'm actually, oh yeah, this is what I'm talking about. I need different brackets because these are slightly bent. Like they're, because these are supposed to go the other direction, but this is a universal wing, it doesn't fit my car. Let me adjust it. So what I'm gonna do is drop it down on probably one or two. Well, I'll try one first and then two, and then let's see how it sits. I went ahead and dropped this down one more. The front two are off and that looks so much better. It's more even with the car now. And you can see, oh shoot. But yeah, so this is the very bottom. I think it goes well with the car, surprisingly. Definitely a lot better quality than Jay's. Actually, I'll say it's on par with Jay's, um, but I think Voltix is the only one that makes a full carbon wing that is one piece. I'm not sure, might be wrong. Time to put these back on, and I need to get new hardware. I'm gonna get longer bolts for these, and when it comes time for me to pull off the wing for the wrap, which is gonna be next week, I'm uh, ordering new brackets and then the stands. I might just leave these stands for now. I'm not sure. Let me pull this car out and see what it looks like. Pretty uh, even with the car. I need to take a video outside, but it looks pretty leveled with me. And it's actually even with the roof of the car. So I might just leave these wing stands. I'm not sure, but I still do need to get um, different brackets. I can always get some custom made, but I think getting different brackets definitely be better, but this thing, it's not going anywhere. Really sturdy. Wow, from the back, this thing looks crazy. Just cause of the tilt. I did move it forward a little bit more by moving this to, oh, I didn't do it yet. Oops, but, Oh no, it is on the, well, we'll leave it for now. From this angle. Oh my God, that thing looks so sick. This wing is definitely a keeper for sure, especially for the price I got it for. It definitely does need to grow on me. I think it sits a little bit too far back. But you know what? It's okay. And yeah. Let me know what you guys think. I honestly love it. And what makes me love it the most is the style of this wing. It doesn't have like base plates. It's just literally all one piece. And of course, it's made in Japan. I mean, from the future, I actually had to readjust how I mounted the wing. Before I was using these spacers, I don't need these. I ended up not needing them because instead of using those spacers, I ended up bending these brackets more, these little small ones down here. So now you can see that they line up perfectly. And now the wing looks perfect on the car. 
Like I said, most people won't like this wing, but this is sick. <laughs> so, can't complain. Now, to wait for the wrap, and we're gonna wrap the whole car. So, stay tuned for that, guys. So, peace out, guys. So, let's, let's just keep building. Hopefully, you guys like some Voltex. Never in my life I thought I would spend money on one of these, but I got it for such a good deal, and can't complain.